Hey everyone, Symbotic is an innovative robotics company that helps warehouses automate operations. And in this video, I'm going to dig a little deeper into its operations and figure out what's going on with Symbotic. So let's take a look. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so Sim, uh, Symbotech, uh, Symbotic, I should say, Chairman and uh, CEO Richard Cohen highlighted a few things the company made progress on in its latest quarter. First, he says they improved their time-space reservation routing algorithms. This allowed us to more than double transfer that capacity and boost bot density, which helps to increase throughput and system capacity. In other words, after improving the algorithm for spacing, they can now place more robotics in the warehouse, thereby increasing throughput and system capacity. Previously, they had to limit those amounts because they were getting in each other's way because of the algorithms for spacing and distancing. So that was a nice improvement. That's going to increase the return on investment for those investing in automating their facilities. Second, they trans transitioned their code base to a microservices architecture for increased modularization. This enables more efficient coding evolution and support on the backside, on the back end of the technology. They can offer more updates, do those updates more effectively, more efficiently, and implement improvements on a faster pace than previously able. Now, the third one I think was the best, and it's on the hardware side. With the addition of a new AI chip from NVIDIA, by the way, they have increased the computational power of the SimBot. This higher compute power is key to unlocking more of the value of artificial intelligence across the entire SimBotic system. So that chip is going to increase the power for each robot, for each SimBot, because now they've got more computational power on board in a smaller form factor. So as the AI chip technology improves, it improves the capabilities of these SimBots. So Symbotic, on the one hand, is benefiting from the rapid pace of innovation from these graphic processing units. And NVIDIA has already highlighted that the Blackwell technology is coming out it's shipping to customers. It'll start getting installed in the fourth quarter of this year. And then they've already announced their next generation technology, the Rubin technology, which is coming out next year. So these innovations in GPUs are likely to improve the capabilities for Symbotic in what their bots are capable of performing and the tasks and the speed and the throughput of the ability of their bots. So this is this is exciting and innovation and improvement is not new for Symbotic. So they're restructuring and outsourcing their manufacturing operations. And I tend to favor this with all newer companies to start out at least with outsourcing your manufacturing. Because when you're new, capital is scarce and you're hard pressed to find money and you want to use that money as effectively as possible. And it's very likely that you don't have very much experience in manufacturing. And so that's a skill that you can outsource. There are many manufacturing operations worldwide that have been doing this for a very long time, and they can more effectively manufacture these products. I know there's a lot to be said for owning your entire supply chain and being in control of your own fate. But that's, I think, later down the line when you've grown, when you've got stronger cash flow from operations and you're looking for something to do with your cash, some way to deploy your cash, when you've completed most of the innovations you feel you can complete in terms of design and in, in improvement in research and development, then it could be time to start considering bringing your manufacturing in-house so that way you can lower your cost per unit, improve your supply chain speed and dependencies, and so on and so forth. But in the early stages, in the early stages, I'm in favor of outsourcing in most cases, unless your manufacturing company that you're outsourcing to is really going to gouge you on pricing, 
and then it makes sense to consider bringing it in-house earlier than you would like to. So Symbotics said that they recently signed their first logistics as a service customer for Greenbox and Symbotic will begin recognizing initial Greenbox revenue in the fiscal third quarter. So that will be right now in the current quarter because this report that I'm reviewing with you in this video is for its fiscal second quarter. So beginning in the third quarter, they'll begin recognizing revenue from Greenbox. It's a logistics as a service business, and they're really going to ramp up hiring in that business and really start to roll this out in uh, meaningful amounts in the current quarter, which is their fiscal third quarter. So some exciting things happening for Symbotic. Now, Symbotic stock is trading at a relatively expensive valuation, a forward price to earnings of 68 point three one but the company has demonstrated great progress in improving its operating profit margin which stands at negative eleven percent but you could see it's improved nicely from negative fifty percent in early 2022 and that's improved all the way up to negative eleven percent I don't mind companies that are losing money on the bottom line so long as they're making progress towards profitability and Symbotic is definitely making progress towards profitability. It's improved its operations. It's bringing down the speed to installation, which is making installations faster. And they already have a backlog of customers. So if they can improve that speed of uh, installation, they can serve more customers every quarter. So they've done a lot of good things over these last couple of years. And that's really still not hurting their revenue growth. Sometimes you have companies that choose to become more profitable and more efficient and it really hurts revenue growth. But the company has been growing revenue at roughly 60, 70, very high percentage quarterly growth rates, 59% in the latest quarter. And while still making improvements in efficiencies, improvements in profitability, improvements in speed to delivery, and investing in research and development to get their next generation and improve the performance of their bots. So a lot of good things happening with Symbotic, the company benefiting, especially now as the cost of labor has increased meaningfully. Companies looking to automate their warehouses are now more interested because when they go out to hire folks, they're realizing they're having to pay more and more and more wages to folks because of the lack of labor availability and because of the rising costs of labor. So they're finding that this service is now more and more needed and more and more in demand. So all the these factors working in Symbotic's favor and in Symbotic's investors favor. Did you know that over 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed? It'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button. And oh, by the way, one of the benefits of being subscribed is that I take requests from subscribers more often than I do from non-subscribers. So if you prefer that benefit, please subscribe to the channel.